Yes guys, pretty excited today because I've got myself. Finally, it has turned up Mugen Wing. The wing I bought was from Type R Kits. Um, you get a little fitting kit. I'm not sure what the rivets are for. I probably should have asked them. Uh, you get the two kind of aluminium Mugen replica double-sided sticky aluminium logos. You get your plate here. I don't know if you can see that plate under there. There's a sandwich plate between the wing and the, the blade and uh, I've had mine cut to fit the same size as the blade you can actually have it so it's kind of adjustable but let's be honest you're never going to adjust it because it's not an overly functional wing but it does make a big difference to the back of the car so yeah looking forward to seeing it on Probably need to keep hold of these. Hmm. It's long. Okay, now the um, the outside four bolts are taken out. I think the rest are under this piece here, so I have to pull this off. I should just pull off. Probably to break it. Ooh. Oh, yeah, so all of them stayed in. Uh, I think the next thing to come out of these four bolts is one there. And a 10 mil? Yeah, 10 mil. Well, it can't go anywhere because it's still being held on. All right, that should lift off there. Nope. It's not being held on. Oh, look at the grot. Oh. Give, the, give the grot a good fingering. Oh, that's nasty. I believe you're supposed to transfer these brackets onto the new wing, so we're going to have to take these out. Um, just to either end. Ten millimeter socket. Get it out. Yeah, so this is the passenger side, isn't it? that way so the kind of the indent goes towards the inner inside of the spoiler you know what I mean rather than the outside of the car so that's the outside so this is just gonna be for a dry fit no sealant nothing like that for now uh, I'll get some sealant probably use tiger sealant but... having said that I do want to be able to take it off if I can don't need to use it, I won't. So. Okay. Right, so the driver's side. 
looks like it's covered in paint, which is not good. But hopefully it fits. Kit comes with four hex head screws. I'm guessing these hold it on in the middle. <laughs> Tony the Tiger, he says stick. Um, sealant and double sided tape under here. The fitment is actually pretty good. There's no big gaping holes down here. Um, no, that's pretty good. Isn't it? Okay, so the fitment across the back here is all pretty good. There's no big gaps. All around the brake light, clears the brake light nicely. Um, yeah, pretty pleased with the fitment actually. So, other than those screws that I couldn't get to fit. I don't know why that is. Um, this is absolutely a two person job. My girlfriend is holding the camera now, it's been helping me. Um, there's no way you can fit this on your own. Not in my opinion, but yeah, it looks good. Obviously when the car's clean, it'll look a lot better. And uh, next we'll stick on the little moving badges. So the kit comes with a little Mugen aluminium fake badges but you know they look pretty good uh, it's just double sided tape hopefully I can peel this with my gloves on probably not mm. this is where I stick it on fucking wonky don't fucking stick it on wonky
I don't even care if I'm nearly 40, I'm still sticking a big wing on my car. Fuck what the haters say. I know it doesn't perform like functional aero. Who gives a fuck? Looks sick. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Okay, the last thing I've done is I've just put on some, you know, a protective cloth, some cardboard, and some weights just to um, weigh down on the ceiling and this double sided tape. Hopefully, that'll keep it on. What I was going to show you as well, you get um, a plate that sits here. So, what I got the guys to do is to cut down the plate so it fits the same shape as the wing and you can't see it. I think it looks a lot better than just having the massive plate there. 